Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we finally got our hands on the iPhone 10. Got to spend some time with this device, and I have to tell you, man, it's pretty good. Well built device. That's the first thing you notice when you hold the iPhone 10. It's comfortable, it is well built, and this is probably one of the best looking iPhones ever. Yes, I've said it. it I think it is. They've done a really good job on design on this device. But the first thing you notice is the display. It's got a 5.8 inch. QHD display, yes, it's a 2K display. Uh, Apple's numbers usually are kind of funky, but it's also HDR display. And as you can see, it's got really thin bezels all around. Yes, edge to edge, except of course the unibrow you find on the top, which houses a new true depth camera. It's a seven megapixel camera with a lot of sensors that do a lot of really cool things, but we'll get to that in a second. Now let's talk more about the design, looking around the device. You can see you've got, of course, a glass back. The camera housing is also in a different orientation, more, of course, portrait. Uh, it's a dual camera setup. The dual 12 megapixel camera you find on the iPhone 8 Plus is here. With one difference, you now have OIS on both lenses, which is pretty cool. Now it's powered by the A11 Bionic chipset, which can do a lot, and that's gonna to come to play later on as we continue talking about the iPhone 10. But you also have, of course, a lot of lifestyle features, IP67 rated, uh, water and dust resistant, and also wireless charging. So you can comfortably charge your device without plugging it in, or while you're listening to music with your lightning earbuds, because it has a only single port at the bottom. Now, dual stereo speakers, which is great. I wish still there was a headphone jack. That is just me, but it's never coming back on this device. But when we flip back to the front, as you can see again, you've got that massive display. Uh, looks pretty good. And that just basically showcases the difference in design. Now, if you look at that compared to the iPhone 8 Plus or the 7 Plus, anything in the plus size of things, you can see that it's actually a smaller device with a larger display and a smaller footprint, which means that this device is more comfortable for people with small hands to use and people like me with larger hands to use just because of the ergonomics and the design here which is great for a lot of Apple users and I like that idea and I think you know that is something that they should move forward with as they go with other devices. Now we talked about that unibrow in the front and why do we have that? Well the true depth camera it does a lot of cool things. Now this is the first time Apple is switching away from a uh, fingerprint sensor. There's none on the device, none on the front or the back but now you use your face to unlock. Now, this is not new. This is something we've seen with Microsoft with Windows Hello. Um, and it's something that you can do with the iPhone 10. Now, it basically maps your face. The setup process is really easy. If you want to check that out, definitely go check out our setup process, how to set up Face ID. But it works pretty well. You just have to look at it, it unlocks. Look at it, it unlocks. And that's simple. Now, the unlock icon turns, showing you it's unlocked. But you do have to swipe up to get access into your device. You guys should change that. I would rather just open up and unlock. But that being said, it works pretty well and works pretty effectively. We'll do some more videos on that so you guys can see how it works and in different situations and all that fun stuff. But besides Face ID, what else can you do with the True Depth camera? And emojis is one of the things that you talked about. And we spent some time with that. It's fun, it really is. Uh, the fact that you can uh, use different uh, animated emojis that map to your muscle structure. So as you smile, laugh, or yell, it actually follows your uh, facial commands, if you will. And you can send some record uh, short message clips, 10 seconds and send to friends. And it looks like, it looks something like this. Do you believe that I am Batman? I am Batman. Stop, Mr. Freeze. Ah. I am Batman. Stop, Mr. Freeze. Ah. So that, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you can do more with that, and third-party apps can also have access to a lot of those um, uh, functionalities. So Snapchat, for instance, has filters where you can see here with Ultimate Warrior, the mask is on my face, and it actually flows and maps pretty well. And you can change it with different filters and different filter types. Uh, this will be available to a lot of third parties. Now, that being said though, your facial map is saved on your device. It's not saved in the cloud. Similar to Touch ID, you don't, uh, it's not gonna be saved anywhere else except your device. And once you format that device, all that information is gone. Or when you reset, maybe face ID, that also is gone uh, completely. So that is fine, that's taken care of there. Now, 
Uh, we also have another thing that is missing from this device. There is no home button, right? There's none. So how do you navigate around the iPhone 10? Now, there are new gestures to actually do that. And then one of the easiest ones to actually talk about first is actually going back home from an application. You want to head back to your home screen. You have to simply swipe from the bottom all the way up and that takes you back to the home screen. And I'm talking about basically from the edge of the bezel and edge of the display all the way up. Now, I found that all these gestures, while they worked well, can be hard to get because of the placement. Uh, that is something that it was going to take some learning to, to do that. Now, if you want to go into multitask, you have to swipe from the bottom again, stop halfway, and that brings up the multitask menu and you can swipe all the way left to right through your applications. Now, if you're in an application, you can also just swipe at the very bottom uh, across the screen, and that will take you to uh, all your different applications. Again, like I said, I found this a little bit counterintuitive, uh, especially using the home button for so many years, and also just the swipe location. It, it's gonna get difficult for some people. Now, the other thing is also your action center. How do you get to your action center? Well, it's now in the top right-hand corner. You swipe down from the right to get to the action center. Uh, of course, you can use uh, uh, 3D Touch to actually do that you, uh, to get more uh, functionality. You can swipe down from the left to get to your notification center. So you have that built in there. Now, the iPhone 8, uh, sorry, the iPhone 10 also has, of course, uh, portrait selfies, which is, of course, new to this device because of the True Depth Samsung camera. And we took a lot of pictures with that and you can see some of the different modes that we can go through and change. It looks pretty good and something we'll do and spend more time with to see how well it works in different situations. But the situation we had, it was actually lower lighting at that point in time, as you can see, it actually came out pretty well uh, because it's got a facial illuminator within that uh, true depth camera sensor. So there's a lot of things there in this device. You've also got AR kit, so you can use the AR ca the camera and the rear to actually map out maybe furniture around your home uh, with Ikea or play a game. So there are a lot of things on this device. You've got that 5.8 inch display, QHD, HDR. You, of course, you've got the True Dead Samsung camera that can do a lot of things like the, of course, the front facing portrait selfies. Uh, you've also got face ID. You've got an emojis built into this device. Uh, AR kit is also there and also the brand new design in just in terms of aesthetics and look that I think a lot of people will find very interesting once they get their hands on it. Now guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the iPhone 10, let us know. Uh, we have more videos for you. Right now we also have our uh, how to set up a face ID. Definitely check that out. We'll put out more video content for the iPhone 10 as we go through it. Uh, any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, definitely subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.